you all dinner. <laughs> Everybody stay for dinner. Let's eat together today. Some people have brought food. We're all going to share together, so we're going to have plenty of time to fellowship. But today we rejoice. We rejoice that two people have come forward to unite with Christ and unite with His church. I'm going to ask uh, Carolyn Lepper and Tony Jacoby to come forward, please. Carolyn is the daughter of David Deans. Carolyn was living in Quincy and to help take care of her four children that are now living at David's house, her father and her stepmother Cheryl's house in New Canton. Uh, Carolyn is now uh, in the area and is going to be here and is looking for work, make this her home. She uh, wants to be baptized into Christ. She says that uh, there was a time way back there in her life when she went through a ritual that was called baptism, but she doesn't remember it, and I think she was too young to even know anything about it. I explained to her the Bible says baptism is based on faith and repentance. It's a personal faith, confession, repentance of sin. you got to know what you're doing or it's not meaningful. She says, I want to be baptized. I said, well, we can wait till later. I don't, I'm not pushing. I don't want any pressure on you. I want you to make your decision. She said, I want to be baptized today. <laughs> All right. Steve Hammond, fill up the baptistry. It's full. It's ready. So we're ready to do it. Carolyn, do you believe with all your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? You want to make Him the Lord of your life? Yes. You want to serve Him all the days of your life? Yes. Amen. Can you say amen, church? Amen. 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 Tony? Tony said he's been baptized about three times, four times. Three times, so I think it took. <laughs> and uh, he was immersion the last time into Christ. Obey Christ. Tony is a pretty good Bible student. He's spoken out in class several times at the 938. He said that he was brought to Christ as a teenager through a youth program. He came up to me and says, how's a youth program? I said, well, we have a few little children and about two teenagers. I said, that's our youth program. But he can help us grow it. And I tell you what, every youth, every person in the whole White County is invited here to come and grow with us, right? We don't have any limits on membership by race, color, creed, money, <coughs> background. Now, Carolyn's had a pretty checkered past. I don't know much about Tony. But uh, she uh, been involved in some relationships that uh, she knows the Bible says are sinful. But she's a young woman in her 30s. How old are you, Carolyn? She's 30. You know, uh, the Corinthians had some of those problems, too. You're reaching your guest. But the Bible says you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord. No matter what you've done or how you live, if you love Jesus, if you want to be saved, you can be baptized into Christ and be a new creature in Jesus. Repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins, and God will give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. So we're going to baptize Carolyn. She confessed Christ. Now they have been... Uh, uh, living together. And I explained to them the necessity of marriage before you live together as husband and wife. And they said, yes, we understand that. We're going to make a change. Mm -hmm. and so Carolyn's going to go through some legal procedures to get herself free from an entanglement in a previous relationship. And then we're going to have a wedding. And I told her the church would give her a wedding. I'd do it for free. And I told her I obligated you good ladies here in church to give her a little reception. Maybe a dinner, kind of like we did David Chip. We'll do it. We believe. We believe in marriage. We believe in starting life together, as God said. So they're, they're making a commitment to live according to God's law from this time forward until they are legally married. Then, of course, they can enjoy all that God has to offer. And once husbands and wives can join together. So they're making that commitment. Praise God. Praise God. Tony, praise God for you making that. And uh, so Tony's going to place membership with us. This is, as I said, Tony Jacoby, and this is Carolyn Lepper, L E P P E R. Jacoby is J O J A C O B Y. So I've got their phone number, I've got their birth dates. Uh, both of them born in 1987, 30 years old. Did this wonderful? Give their life to God. Carolyn has four children. And uh, David, Cheryl, Carolyn, raising those kids now. And uh, the church has been ministering some to the family. 
That's fine. Jesus teaches us that. We're glad to do that. But David and Cheryl are hard workers. And uh, they're people of integrity. And they're people who want to do the right thing. Praise God. Carolyn, we love you and we praise God. Lord, thank you for Carolyn and thank you for Tony. Thank you for their coming today. And Father, we rejoice with their decision to honor your word, to honor marriage, to honor purity, and to give themselves to you as your servants. We're glad that Tony is already in your body and he wants to work with the Pittsfield Church. And we're glad that Carolyn, Father, who has been raised to uh, respect you and to love you and is repenting in her heart of hearts and she's confessing Christ now. This is a new beginning for both of them, God. And a new uh, beginning, a new creature in Christ for Carolyn. We thank you for David and Cheryl and all the children and the family. And we praise you, God, that you brought them to us. Help us to love them even as you love them. Encourage the Father. Build them up and strengthen them. Your will be done now and forever. Okay, Tony, you can be seated back there. Carolyn is going to go with Margaret, and they're going to get prepared for the baptism. And with your grace and permission, I'm going to go get ready, and as soon as they're ready, we're going to have a baptism right here. And then we're all going to go and eat dinner together. So what's the hurry? You can stay here all afternoon, and Dan's preaching tonight, so I don't have to worry about a sermon tonight. But uh, we're going to let, uh, if you, with your grace and patience, if you need to go and must go, we understand. But if you can stay for about... Less than 10 minutes, and you'll see this person baptized in Christ. Yes. Turn the light on. Turn the light on and raise the screen. Okay. Uh, the light is moving <laughs> over there. I'll go. Uh, well, I thought it was right there. My brother, Daddy. <clears throat> I got it, Jim. I got it. Okay. All right. You may want to sing a song, read some scripture. Maybe. <laughs> Romans chapter 6, uh, first uh, 15 verses or so. I must do uh, 480. I don't know how soon you can get that up, Mark. But Hold on a second. Come on.
about 129. Oh, were you here last week and saw them baptized in Russia when they broke ice? Well, we're repeating that today. But you insisted on today. I think you're right. We love you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Based on your faith in Jesus and repentance of sin. And desire to make him the Lord and Savior of your life. I now baptize you. To obey all the commands of Jesus. And to give your life to serve him. And he's promised. That he will be with you every day and every hour. And someday, Carolyn. You'll be with all of us. In the land of the redeemed. Forever and ever. Praise his name. Amen. Let's be baptized. Alright, I baptize left hand, so I'm gonna have you stand here. Just come on forward. Jesus washed my sins away. 